so in this lecture we will be looking at ssm inventory and its services so ssm inventory basically collects metadata from your managed instances it can be ec2 or your on premises instances metadata includes installed software configuration os drivers config, uh, installed updates running services and all other services metadata basically contains all the images of these uh, updates or running services view data in aws console or store in s3 bucket and query and analyze using athena and quicksight next is it specifies metadata collection interval like in minutes hours or in days you can specify that uh, in how many uh, interval you want your metadata to be collected for the instance query data from multiple aws accounts and regions and it creates custom inventory for your custom metadata for example rack location of each managed instance would be uh, created there next is ssm state manager it automates the process of keeping your managed instances in a state that you define it automates that how and when you are going to keep that uh, managed instance and in which state you are uh, gonna keep it use cases its use cases are suppose you have bootstrap instances with software or patch os software updates on a scheduled time or date or in hours state manager association it defines the state that you want to maintain to your managed instances for example port 22 must be closed or antivirus must be installed so that will be that state uh, you can maintain to your managed instances it specifies a schedule when that configuration suppose you want port 22 be closed so you can specify a schedule when that configuration is to be applied and also it uses ssm docs to create an association for example ssm documents to configure cw agent cloudwatch agent so that's all for theory part let's see the hands on now so in aws ssm manager we have in the left hand side inventory click on that and then this will be open here is your dashboard i have one instance running so here is your dashboard basically manage instances with inventory includes instances in the current region and account currently i don't have any data to display okay so that is okay next is detail, detailed view in this detailed view you can create resource data sync so let us create one uh, for more information we can see Amazon Athena pricing or M Amazon uh, Glue pricing. Okay, Athena is an interactive query service that makes it easy to analyze. And suppose I'm just naming it as Demo Sync. Okay, Sync name is Demo Sync. I have my bucket, uh, and I will be showing that what I have included in this bucket. Suppose if you are uh, just introducing yourself with the buckets, so let me introduce you. You have to open that bucket and in this permission you will make one bucket or just click on create a bucket and then on permission permission part go to the permission part and edit the bucket policy because if you create a bucket suppose let me show you one thing this is my bucket to create a new bucket you will just click here to create a bucket okay then some options will be visible to you then you will have to name the bucket and this name should be same as the name entered here in the resource data sync in inventory okay so just check that whether it is same or not then simply create that bucket and after creating the bucket you just have to go to the permissions let me show you you have to go to the permissions and for that you will have to click here and here are the permissions you can add the permission here basically this permission uh, i got from here amazon s3 block public access okay and from there i copied this public access uh, versions and everything uh, what you will have to edit when you will be copying that code or you may copy this code you will have to change this one in the resource you will have to enter your bucket name okay here it will be like example one or example two so you will have to enter your own bucket name you can remove all other resources there will be multiple resources available and then 
you can also edit this one and in the source account you will have to add your account id and this account id you can get it from here okay just copy it and paste it and when you will save it it will be created that that bucket will be created and then what you have to do you just have to create this resource data sync so click here and yeah the resource data sync was successfully created you can view details from here okay so if it is a success let's go to systems manager again yep in inventory let's wait in this detailed view you have a when enabled you can select the resource demo sync from here and then your uh, like whatever the applications are installed in your instances all the applications will be shown here if you choose inventory type as suppose i am choosing aws applications so all the applications that are installed in your instances you can watch them from here if you have installed any but right now i don't have any uh, applications installed in my instance so nothing will be shown here. okay so that is how you can create in uh, a resource data sync and that is how you can work on inventory so that's all for this session let's meet in our next lecture